G'day everyone, welcome, how you going, hope you're having a fantastic day. Okay, um, Masonry and Interpretation, Martin Wagner, 1912. Introduction, the following is from Jonathan Williams, Le Legions of Satan, 1871. Jonathan Williams recorded in his Legions of Satan, 1781, that General Cornwallis revealed to George General Washington during the signing of the Article of Capitulation, signed at by Cornwallis at Yorktown that a holy war will now begin on America and when it's ended America will supposedly be the citadel of freedom but her millions will unknowingly be loyal subjects to the crown. Cornwallis went on to explain that would seem to be self-contradiction. Your churches will be used to teach the religion and in less than 200 years the whole nation will be working for divine world government government that they will believe to be divine will be the British Empire. All regions will be permitted with Judaism without even being noticed by the masses and they'll be under the invisible or seeing eye of the grand architecture of... It is certain that Senator Joseph McCartney did much research on the... He came too close when he discovered British Israel and their kingdom message propaganda. The following quotes are from an article with the title, George Washington's Surrender. And many people of the land became... Esther 9.17 The confession of the General Cornwallis to the General Washington of Yorktown has been well hidden by historians. History books and textbooks have taught for years that when Cornwallis surrendered his army to General Washington that the American independence come and we lived happily ever after until the tribulations of the 12th century. 20th century. Jonathan Williams recorded in his Legions of Satan, 1781, that Cornwallis revealed that, to Washington that a holy war will now begin America, and when it's ended, America will supposedly be the citadel of freedom, but her millions will be unknowingly be loyal subjects to the crown. He went on to an explanation that would seem to be self-contradiction. The whole, your churches will be used to teach the religion and in less than 200 years the whole nation will be working in divine world government. The government that they believe to be by the British Empire, all regions will be permeated with, without even being noticed by the masses, they'll be under the invisible or seeing eye of the grand architecture of, and indeed George Washington himself was a mason, and he gave back through a false religion and he had won many with his army. Cornwallis knew that his military defeat was only the beginning of the world catastrophe that would be universal and that unrest would continue until mind control could be accomplished through a false religion. What he predicted has come to pass. A brief sketch, sketch of America's religious history and what we have seen masonry infused into every church in America into the veil with phallic religion. John Nelson, Darby and Plymouth Bedron brought a Jewish Christianity to America. Masons, Rutherford and Russell started Jehovah Witness, Judaism which is now worldwide with their message of divine kingdom. Mason Joseph Smith started the Mormon Judaism with its Jewish teaching of millennialism. At the turn of the 12th, 20th century there appeared to the Schofield Bible with the Jewish interpretation of the prophecies. With wide use of the helpful aid and all American churches have suddenly become synagogues. We now have Baptist Jews, Methodist Jews, Church of God Jews, Apostate Jews, Catholic Jews and many Protestant Jews throughout America. We are aliens in our own country because of a false religion. All are praying to a divine deliverance into that divine government which Cornwallis knew to be the British Empire. A false religion, religion has been used to deceive us into allegiance into our enemies of Yorktown and Bunker Hill. No, not a gun has been fired but the invisible malignant process of conquering America with the, has gone unabated. The Union Jack has been planted in our hearts with religious deception. All happened legally, constitutionally, freely, and completely with our most sacred trust, our churches. Religious deception is painless inoculation against truth. It cannot be removed from conscience without surgery. It is the motivator of our actions and directly controls our lives. One man gives over to false religion. He is no longer rational because he originates no thought. His life is controlled by whom it controls the religion. The veil of false religion is the sword of the Democles and its power to control the humanity. Humanity defiles even the invention of the tyrants who use it. This is not to say that George Washington was a traitor willingly or knowingly. He was beguided into a satanic religious order that insidiously controls men's minds. So have American statesmen and military leaders down through the years given aid and allegiance to enemies of the United States because they did not have the knowledge or the invisible subfuge 
that stalks this land. My eyes were open the day my colleague from Ohio handed me a Wagner's Freemasonry and interpretation. If every American would read it, they would no longer ask why and how it happened. End of quote from George Washington's Surrender. Given by Senator Joseph McCartney six months before his mouth was closed forever. Born 14th of November 1908, died 22nd of May 1957. Okay, that's just one of them. Thanks for watching. Bye.